So part 2A4, C3M, 1B7, C8E, 13C9, C6, D3, P6. Line 22, F1, FA, 19C3M, 1B7, C8E, 13C9, C6, D3, P6. Lead R, phaser, sodium atoms, frequency formula, your full 5G well study. Here's the alien radio signal, and this is keyword research for lead R and phaser plus sodium atoms. Formula vapor, summed frequency, math equations for long distance communications device for the UFO spaceship from the wow signal. The keyword nonlinear multi objective control is going to be in the next video. So, quotes and diagrams from Wiki. The keyword lead R from the previous video is line 22F1FA 19C3M 1B7C8E 13C9C6D3P5 Utias Imami lead R mechatronics UFO 5G wow study. So LIDAR light -like detection and ranging, and also LADAR, is an op optical remote sensing technology that can measure the distance to or other properties of targets by illuminating the target with laser light and analyzing the backscattered light. LIDAR technology has applications in geomatics, archaeology, geography, geology, geomorphology, seismology, forestry, remote sensing, atmospheric physics. Hmm. Airborne laser swath mapping, ALSM, and laser altimetry and contour mapping. So the keyword is phasor. Now we've covered this in earlier videos, right? We I've seen this thing before. A phasor used at the Starfire optical range for LIDAR and laser guide star experiments is tuned to the sodium D2A line and used to excite sodium atoms in the upper atmosphere. January 17th, my thoughts. Today is the 26th of 2013. See well data for the LIDAR. It's come up before with the formulas phaser keyword, the phaser keyword frequency, additional source of optical radiation. In physics, a phaser is an acronym. Oh, this is a quote. Sorry. I'm going to put quote. So you know it's a quote. Oop. Can't spell today. Ugh. This is what I have when trying to type. Quote from, it's got to be from Wiki because there's no blog post there. So this is a Wiki quote. There we go. So in physics, a phaser is an acronym for frequency addition source of optical radiation. It is a device similar to a laser where the emitted light is produced in a sum frequency generation process from two laser sources that operate at a different wavelength. The frequencies of the sources add directly to a summed frequency. Thus, if the source wavelengths are X or I don't know what that symbol is, that one and that one. The resulting wavelength is going to be this. Applications of phaser in the image is used for laser guide star experiments. It is tuned to the D2A hyperfine component of the sodium D2 line and used to excite sodium atoms in the mesospheric upper atmosphere. The phaser consists of two single frequency injection locked NDYAG lasers close to 1064 and 1320 nm that are both resonant in a cavity containing a lithium triborate albio crystal, which sums the frequencies yielding 589.158 nm light. My thoughts. The sodium and water vapor long distance communication invention from the wild data line 22. Sodium D line the phaser, the laser emitted light and sum frequency generation process, two lasers, the toroid design for neutrinos, and laser beam gun for core of the UFO spaceships engine designs, formulas, and sketches in lines 1 to 22. A wavelength frequencies RF source. I'm going to put that together. Uh, summed frequency. I'm going to Google it, see what it means. So the keyword summed frequency is quote from blog. Professor Hugh Liu, um, associate director, graduate studies, University of Toronto. Boy, University of Toronto keeps coming up, right? Institute for Aerospace Studies. Um, that's his email. That's his phone number. You can get a hold of him if you're going to talk to him about this data. Integrated guidance and control of flying vehicles with nonlinear multi objective control and optimization. Again, the scientists that are listed in the videos have no idea that I'm talking about them. Um, so, you know, if you call them or talk to them, let them know. <laughs> Thanks. Flexible aircraft design, control, and optimization. Our research projects are supported in collaboration with industry and government organizations such as Honeywell, Quanzer Inc., and Canadian Space Agency, CSA. 
And again, this is from www.utiasutoronto.ca. And it's their research department. So keyword nonlinear multi-objective control is going to be in our next video. Thanks for watching.